Hello, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube video. My name is John Hammond and I'm back with the Python challenge. Um, this has been requested so many times and it gets a lot of comments. This whole series gets a lot of interest. Um, so I want to return. I know it's been a long time, so I'm wiping the dust off, kind of getting rid of the cobwebs and let's see how we can jump back into the Python challenge. So I think I left off on level 19. Um, the URL for this one is forward slash PC, forward slash hex, forward slash bin, um, dot HTML, there's the extension there, whoa, and uh, the login is butter and fly, butterfly, as the epiphany came in the last video from two years ago, jeez, that's insane, so, all right, uh, I don't know what I'm looking at right now, <laughs> this looks like a picture of India, uh, at least I'm pretty sure that's India, I sure hope so. <laughs> Again, more uh, threats to my intelligence for the Python challenge videos. Okay, yeah, this definitely looks like India. Those two match. A little inverted colors, though. That's kind of weird. Let's view the uh, source here, because there's nothing else on this page other than this image. I hit Control u and it looks like there's a lot. Okay, there's HTML comments just following the page. Um, that looks like an email. We've got a from line, leopold.moz at pythonchallenge.com. Subject, what do you mean by open the attachment? Okay. Content type. Okay, looks like it is including some stuff. The message here is it's so much easier for you youngsters. Maybe my computer is out of order. I have a real work to do, and I must know what's inside. <laughs> okay. And it looks like there's some stuff here to denote that there is an attachment. There would have been an attachment had this been a kind of sent through a real email client, but okay, in just this raw type here, it looks like it's using the base64 encoding to pass along a WAV file named indian.wav. Okay? Indian. Indian.wav. That looks pretty long, but I guess that probably correlates to this picture of India here, I guess. Um, okay, let's just see what we can get out of that. Let's see if we can get this Indian.wav file. We could copy and paste this and run the base64 command from the command line and bash and stuff, but that's boring. We want to be doing this in Python, since that's the name of this video series. Um, so let's create a PyChallenge folder, and we'll call this level19.py. And again, this is just kind of a scratch pad. This is going to be ugly code, probably. Let's... <laughs> I put a disclaimer, I think, at the very beginning of the series, like four years ago, six years ago, however long it was, and it's been bad code all the way. So I'm going to use the request module here. You may have seen me use that in um, other other videos. Again, if you haven't heard of it, it's like an awesome, better version of the URL lib, so it just let, lets us run like regular HTTP requests get and post like you'd interact with a web page um, through Python. If you don't have it installed, you can sudo pip install requests, and if you don't have pip, you can sudo apt-get install python tag pip. Um, but I'm sure you're kind of up to speed on that stuff. So let's just get the page here. Let's call that response. Whoa, stupid sublime text. I'm trying to make me buy your product. I don't want any of that stuff. Okay, we have an error here. Response 404. That is because we have not um, authenticated. So we can specify an authentication tuple with our username and password, which I remember saying was butter and fly. So now we get the whole page of the website. Okay. Let's scrape out just this base64 stuff. Looks like it starts with UK and ends in A equal sign. Are there any other A equal signs in this mess? Whatever. Um, I'm going to scrape it out with RE, the request. I'm sorry, the regular expressions module. That's built in. You don't have to pip install that. Um, RE.findAll, UK, anything to A equals with response text. Let's see what we get. Nothing. We do we need to say RA multi-line or something? Oh, let's... I'm doing my testing and forgetting to remove things.
That looks like it's retrieving some things, but not everything of what I wanted. Response.txt. We could just do kind of a hack and get the new line character, new line character, this stuff. New nine, new nine. And the very top of it is da, 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 da. base 64, new line, new line. Do we get it now? No. Maybe I need to specify that it's a multi-line. Will that work in the find all function? Flags, yes. Re dot multi-line. Please work. What the crap? All right, I guess I suck. Need to be a raw string? No. I've embarrassed myself in this video already. All right, well, let's just kind of bail on that <laughs> and do a kind of disgusting split and cut up methodology. So we can get the just about last one. We don't need the text there. So second from the last one. And that has the header at the very top, right? So why is it getting the whole thing? Is that not the boundary that I just specified? Oh, no, it's not. because it has the two hyphens at the end. Okay, whatever. So now the one, two, three, four. Fourth lines we don't need. Split by new line characters. Let's get the fifth on. So the fourth on, because we're zero based here, that gets it, and we don't need the very last two. So let's slice to those, and let's join this by a new line character. So we carve it out. Gross. Okay, we actually don't need to join by new line character since we're going to end up using this whole thing as a base64 string, right? So, base64, let's just call this b64 because we want to import the module base64. And that will let us decode it. Base64.b64 decode of a64 variable. We can print this out, but we know it's probably just going to be binary stuff because it is a WAV file. It is an audio file. So let's uh, just write that out. H equals a handle that we can open called indian.wav. Um, H dot write this. Let's make sure we include the write uh, modifier here in that open. And let's close it. When we run this, there is no output, but we should be able to see a new file here in our PyChallenge folder, um, indian.wave. All right, let's try and play that. Sorry. I don't know if you can hear that whatsoever, but it was just static for me. Um, <laughs> sounds like someone said the word sorry in the, in the middle of it. Okay, um, that doesn't help us. What is this? Looks like there's nothing else we can really do here. Nothing else in this page. Please, title. I don't know if that could be a hint. Um, what do you mean by open the attachment? Okay, so we got the attachment already. We got the sound file. We got indian.wav. Um, indian.wav. It's so much easier for you youngsters. Maybe my computer is out of order. I have real work to do and I must know what's inside. India, Indian, Indian. 
Oh, Indian and out of order. ND Indian Indian. Oh my gosh. Okay, they're trying to refer to Indian, right? So Indianness, little Indian or big Indianness. Um, that is the byte order that um, files or bytes are are stored. It's the order in which bytes are arranged into larger numeric values when stored in memory or when transmitted over data, data links. So Indianness is of interest in computer science because Two conflicting and incompatible formats are in use. Words, or like segments of data, um, can be represented in either big endian or little endian format, depending on whether bits or bytes or other components are ordered from the big end, the most significant bit, or the little end, least significant bit. So that's kind of how you're looking at binary in a 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Is that... That's not eight bytes. <laughs> That's seven. Okay, cool. Now we have eight bytes or eight bits here, and that is one byte. Um, so that would be um, the most significant bit would be this one here, and the least significant would be this one here, the very very end versus the very very start. So when you put them in the other endianness, it's like as if these are reversed. So. Now is your zero one zero one zero one one zero. Um, we switch the ending as we swap the bytes in that case. Um, hopefully that's a decent description, and hopefully I'm not wrong in saying that. Um, but okay, it looks like that's what we need to deal with. I think anyway, if this is India and Indi Indian Indian, that must be kind of the hint that they're getting at here. So this WAV file is currently little Indian, at least according to our. Um, file command here. Let's uh, see if we can swap that or change it. Right? Is it This guy says, maybe my computer is out of order. Okay, so maybe the byte order is not right. Maybe we have to change the Indian. Uh, little Indian to big Indian. How do we do that in Python? Um, Python web file. Hmm. There's a default library, it looks like. Python 3, Python 2. I should really be moving into Python 3. Complete disclaimer, I know everyone probably hates me because I have not really moved into Python 3 yet. And I absolutely have to because Python 2 is going away very soon. But I just can't stand not having parentheses or <laughs> when I'm trying to use the print statement. I need I, I, I need to have uh, no parentheses when I use my print statement. <laughs> I hate the fact it's a function now. It, I don't want to use parentheses. I'm just kidding. This is all a joke. Uh, I don't see anything in this page about endianness. I literally control F for endian and I can't change it. Okay. I don't know if that will help us, but it looks like you can do a lot of cool things like get information about the file, and we'll probably need that if we're going to end up, like, copying it or rechanging it to uh, modify the modify the Indianess. Uh, so let's not try that. Let's make this broader. Python sound file. I think I've researched this stuff before, like, in another CTF or something. Okay, yeah, there is a Pi sound file. This looks pretty good. I always love, like, the read the docs IO stuff. Those are normally pretty good. The lights just went off in my room. Stupid auto sensors. All right, cool. Sorry. <laughs> this can read and write sound files. Okay. That's what we need to do. Can I just pip install this thing? Yeah, okay, cool. Pip install PySound file. That's probably pretty easy. I don't know if we have all I don't know if I have all those dependencies probably, I would think. So, import sound file as FS, so just a nickname or an alias for it. Sound file objects, okay, that looks like it'll handle it already. Like it'll be able to figure stuff out. Um, and it'll just like automatically detect everything on it. Let's try, I'm going to try this with idle real quick because. Um, I'll put idle in my current directory. Actually, let me make sure that I am in the right directory. I'll blow this up so you can see it a little bit better. Change the font size to a whopping 22, because that's all that idle lets me use. <laughs> um, now if I chdr, am I already in the Python challenges folder? Okay, I guess I am, whatever. Now let's import sound file. 
but it's not installed yet. So let's kill this. Um, sudo pip install pi sound file. Type in my password. You do the same, I guess, if you're following along. And now I should be able to idle um, import sound file. Neat. I put a random backslash there, sorry. So sound file dot sound file, capital S, capital F. That will auto detect just about everything, looks like. Indian dot wav. Oh, sweet. Okay. Yeah. Already gets the sample rate, gets the channels, knows the wav and everything. And endianness is file. Endian is Looks like this module will handle things in Endian then. Oh, cool. Okay. By default, it will go to little. That makes sense, because that's kind of common. If you're reading big Indian data, you can set Endian to big accordingly. Okay, so that lets us do stuff. And we can write out a file with a different Endian format. Perfect. Let's uh, try that, I guess. We can just write with the file that we've read, the data from this, and put it into whatever whatever sample rate, whatever channels, whatever subtype the other one had, since it already read all that, right? If I save this as a, <clears throat> excuse me, if I save this as just an object, I can read sample rate and channels. Oh, cool. Yeah, these variables just already exist. So let's do that in our scripts. Let's import sound file and sound file dot sound file of Indian dot wav is what we just wrote. Let's call that um, Indian, I guess. So now we can read the data from it with dot read. I thought I saw that function. Yep, there is that. That is a thing. Sound file dot read. Holy cow. Holy cow. I just want to read from a file and return the data as a NumPy array. That should do it for us, I think. I guess I didn't really check. A dot read in idle to go back to our, our little test bed here. Looks like it gets stuff. Let's try it. Um, the sound file dot write. So documentation here, if I check out the write function, that takes arguments, the file name that we want. So I'll call this like something.wav, um, the data that we want. So indian.read and the sample rate. So indian.sample rate will work with all the same content that we've seen before. Indian.subtype, sub type is that a thing that is a thing right sub subtype yeah okay perfect subtype what else do we need endian and the, so in this case we can just give it a string big like we had seen earlier and the format what is the what is the format does that exist yeah okay sweet it's just a string wav whatever indian dot wav ah uh, format dot format dot format neat so let's run this. No output, but do we have a new file? We do. We have something.wav. What is that thing? Something.wav. Riff big endian. Perfect. Can I play this? Will it work? <laughs> okay. I don't know if you can hear that, but that was a, another chanting chorus that I am an idiot. You are an idiot. <laughs> okay. So, um, what does that mean? That's not like a that's not a flag or anything. <laughs> Is that what I needed to do all along? You are an idiot. Is that I know we've been to like an idiot before, right? Oh, okay. Idiot just on its own in the hex folder, I guess. Now you should apologize. What? What is Okay, stuff of picture labeled. Oh, idiot 2, continue to the next level. Heck yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay, sweet. I guess we just did it. That was all. Neat. <laughs> um, I didn't think that was that bad. I did a little bit of research on how to change stuff to the big Indian or little Indian in, in, in WAV files. 
in wave files, uh, I did some disgusting string processing here. Um, a little bit of get content from with with request module, getting stuff from web page, just downloading that stuff so we didn't have to kind of do it by hand. Uh, base sixty four decoding, right? Some good Python stuff, some simple stuff too, and just I don't know, working with sound files. That's a pretty cool module, the sound file thing that uh. I think I had seen that before in other capture the flag competitions, like other stuff I've done, but it's so easy to forget. Like this is a nook and cranny of uh, some of Python stuff that I don't do a whole lot of. I don't do a whole lot of like signal processing and, and audio audio file management stuff. So that's pretty neat, though. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm glad we ran through a whole other level of the Python challenge, and uh, let's keep it moving. Let's let's get to level 20. I'll see you guys in a later video.